So I was born in 2000, which means like I was born right before smartphones and like iPads and everything became a thing. And I was kind of right in that crack where like we were old enough to have it and then we got it. So that means before that everyone had like flip phones and for entertainment you either played like those old 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 Nintendo consoles or you played online games. And trust me, I was more into the online games anyway. So today I want to take a trip down memory lane and see what games are still around because a lot of them got deleted. Like my favorite websites were agames.com. There was those weird Facebook games that everyone used to play. Those were awesome, but they all like nobody played them so they lost all their money. There was a bunch of like super, super, super weird like multiplayer role playing games that were fun. Like if you played Second Life, you're probably scarred for life. I don't make the rules. So since I'm stuck at home and I have nothing to do, I wanted to check them out and see which ones were still worth playing, which ones were cool, which ones are just like... So there's so many variations, but I think I'm going to play the newest one, which is 7, because that one was probably the most fun. There it is, agames.com. Oh my, if you guys remember this, you are an OG and you deserve a veteran's discount. I never realized this till now, but they had so many ads. Like, I don't think this was good for my computer at all. Okay, here's the theme music. I hated these intros. I always skip them. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I don't even know what mode to play. I'm so excited. Like, this is <laughs> so nostalgic. Okay. I think I'm just going to stick to the classic Battle Royale. This was Fortnite before Fortnite was a thing. And because I'm not a child, I think I'll just go up to the highest level and highest difficulty. There is the blue guy, which I always thought he looked dorky, but I mean, other people had different opinions. There's this character. They don't have names too, which is kind of irritating because that'd be cool. But my favorite was the green guy right here, so I'll probably end up picking him. There is this orange bodybuilder type, if that's what you're into. There is this purple weirdo sailor chick. And then there's this one who looks like, like an Elvis impersonator. I think that was the vibe they were going for. I don't know if they hit the nail on the head, but he's there. There's the green schoolgirl. I think they were going for like the Japanese anime style. Then there's the football player, which I don't know where that reference came from, but it's there if you want it. <laughs> So, starting off with the green. No. Okay. I haven't played this in years, so I'm going to be as surprised as you are. I just remember using arrow key. Oh my god. I just noticed this is going to suck because I have a Mac, and Macs have really tiny, like, keyboard situations. So, it's really hard to do anything with a Mac when it comes to playing games. That's why people buy separate keyboards, but I don't usually game on my, like laptop so that's not something I usually have to think about but I guess today that's different why does this guy have a turban like where did you I've never seen that before that's the weirdest thing ever okay I want to kill the turban guy I am I am too bad at this like what I don't I can't win okay I shot one guy shot another smash smash oh man I forgot how hard these it's not hard it's just it's so difficult to navigate that it feels like... Why am I so much slower than everybody? Did I just die again? Okay. Yay! Oh, got one. Got another. Okay, okay. I want to get her. She does it. Yes, finally. Finally. What about this guy? No! This is impossible. Like, I swear with these tiny keys, this is... I'm, I might look like I'm exaggerating, but this is really just not ideal for gaming. Why does he have a turban? Like, what? That's, that just feels racist. I don't know if it is. It just, like, bomb it, random dude with a turban. I don't get good vibes from that, personally. I don't know who does, but it just feels weird, you know? Like, it would be like... I'm not, I've already said too much. I'm not going to elaborate on why having a guy in a game called bomb it with with the turban on is problematic. If you know, you know. If you don't, you should read up on it. 
I lost. Okay. So I want to play some more games, so we're going to check out something else. Okay, so this one is one of my personal favorites, Fireboy and Water Girl. It is not, like, extremely stimulating in terms of, like, bombing, where it's just, like, a bunch of, like, gun shooting and weird characters and stuff. It's just, like, a puzzle strategy game, and that was always fun to me. So, this is Fireboy and Water Girl 5. I don't think I've ever played it before, but... I played one, and the original is always the best, but we'll see. I hate these ads so much. I'm just gonna scroll through TikTok, which you should follow me on there if you're here, you know? Might as well. Okay, we're gonna play. There's Why is there two ads in one game? Like, this is not fun. And why are they showing a Showtime ad on a kid's app? That's very interesting. Like, even if I'm not a kid and they know that, they should assume that like a kid is playing it from like an adult's computer you know i forgot this was two player so i have to like move both at the same time you know what i'm already too stressed out we're moving on next 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 okay i've never seen any of these games before why i think these are all new habo hotel that was such a fun game i could never get into it because i was just not good at making money on that app at all pick like a random game. I want to do a dog simulator. That seems funny. And I get a dog ad. How how convenient is that? On a dog simulator, they give me a dog ad. <coughs> and my dog barks. Very on brand. <coughs> hey, stop it. We're back to I get another dog ad. Two dog ads. Why do they double up on the ads? Like, this is annoying. I don't even want to play anymore. I'm not having a good time. I want to go home. I want to go home now. <laughs> okay, it's loading. Incoming. Da, 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 da. I hope my camera doesn't die because that happens sometimes. I remember how, like, these games would just, like, s destroy my computer. Like, you could hear the fan just, like, whirling. And it wasn't even, like, a complicated game. It was just, like... My computer wasn't really made to do that, and I really didn't care. And here my computer goes again, whirling like crazy. Okay, so I guess the objective is to, like, destroy things. I want to get that mouth. I can't drive a cat very well. I thought this was a dog simulator. Why do I have a cat? This is, like, interesting. I always thought the graphics were, like, super good on these games, but I guess I have, like, really bad memory. Because this looks like... Like, you know when they showed, like, the Pixar cuts of, like, before the game was made into, like, the movie was, like, brought out, and it was just, like, a rough cut? This is what this looks like. I'm in the Frozen section. Frozen cat. Come get your Frozen cat. Okay. The music is perfect, too. Like, every YouTuber uses this soundtrack. Let me turn it up so you guys can hear it. Hey, I got the mouse. Let's go. Hey, we got it! Let's get another one. Wait, why did it say I got two mouths when I only remember getting one? I guess when I thought I missed that mouse, I actually got it. Let me turn down the music. I, I can fully remember clicking Dog Simulator. I don't know why I have a cat. I know you guys remember me clicking Dog Simulator too, because I recorded it. Oh, okay, so you get points by knocking stuff off the shelves. Is this how cats think in real life? Because I know cats do that. Look at- I'm killing it. I'm killing it right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I've low-key always wanted to do this, like, at a grocery store. Like, do you ever see, like, a perfectly, like, organized display? And you're like, I wonder if someone, like, just crashed their car into it. No, just me. Okay. Okay. I get it. Don't judge me, but I know we've all thought about doing that. Or like when you're driving and you think about like, what if I just swerved in the other lane? Like, who would- would I- would I be fine? But the difference between feeling crazy and actually being crazy is doing it. So, like, just don't do it. This music, though. Okay. 
Is this it? Like, what? It's just funny, because, like, I would expect for the game to have more to it, just because, like, you clearly, like, paid somebody to put this together, but you just knock stuff down and catch mice? Like, this feels like work. This feels like a job. I feel like I should get a paycheck for this, and this doesn't... Like, this isn't that fun. I guess if you're, like, eight, it might be fun, but... I don't even think eight-year-olds, like, would play this. Because, like, nowadays you have Fortnite, Call of Duty, all the real games. So, why would you spend your time on this at all? I guess before, like, iPads and apps and YouTube and everything were a thing, they could justify making crappy games like this and, like, getting thousands of dollars off of ads. But, personally, for me, this is just boring. Like, this is really boring. <laughs> I want to get a thousand points and then we're going to move on to the next game. Okay. Hey, we got upstairs. Where's the chicken? Why is it so hard to get a thousand points? Hey, we're so close. We're so close, guys. We got this. Cheer me on. We're pushing. We're pushing 900. We have seven points away from 900. Maybe the one. 952. We're like 48 points away from a thousand. Hey, a thousand. We got it. So this one is special. This is my personal favorite just because it was bloody. It looked very innocent. So like when your parents walk by, it, they wouldn't even notice like what you were doing. And they're just like, oh, you're just playing a video game. And it was very, very entertaining. I think even now as like a fully formed person, I can appreciate it. And that is Happy Wheels. Like this game is extremely entertaining, like unusually entertaining. So I'm just gonna start with play because I want I know you've already probably all seen it before, so I want to give you guys the full experience. Are you kidding me? I didn't even get to like start. Well, we're gonna restart. Restart level because I... No. <laughs> it's stuff like this that kept me entertained for hours. What is this thing chasing us? I, I don't even know what it is because it just moves so quickly. Why am I... There's no way to survive this. That's impossible. That restart. I want. I want a fair trial. Like all I ask for is for like a fair game, you know? Because that was not fair. Run over. Move. Why are all these people in my way? I always love the old man because it's like you could put him through anything and he always survived. Like that's why he was my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna try another level now. Exit to menu. Renaissance Ravager. That looks fun. Um, is there a way to put this in full screen? Okay. I think this will be our best bet. This was always the most fun, like, vehicle to use because it's like, you could do the little jumps and I always thought that was funny because you would get in, stuck in really weird positions. Hey, we're at the Renaissance Fair. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, I was obsessed with, like, physics-based, like, really... I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. It's just a very specific genre of like online games where it's all based on like real life sort of like replication of physics and stuff because it's like it feels more realistic and it feels it's just more it's a more fun experience. I'm just gonna leave it there. Look at the little guillotine. They even have a guillotine. That's so nice of them. Okay. I'm gonna run over the little elf now. Why is this man eating the brick? Get, move! Oh my, I'm trying to get to work, I'm late, I'm late. I don't know how I'm supposed to get over this. I also have to mention that, you guys probably already know this, but all these games are created by other users. So if you wanted to go make your, I don't know if it's still available, but you could always like make your own games. And because I used to be like a coding nerd, for a very short time, not that long, but it happened. I used to go and make my own level, and it was super fun. Why can't I get up? Move! Okay, I have to go back and build some momentum. I'm running over my own lights. Can I just chop that off? Like, I don't want that anymore. Thank you. Okay. Now we can get some speed going. Hey, we're up. We're up. Okay, which, I, I don't know how they expect me to get through this, but I think I can... Next game loading. Okay, so now this one is one of my favorites by far. And honestly, when you see it, you'll it's kind of like weird to look at. But 
when I get into it, you will get it. Like, you'll get the vibe. It's a whole vibe. So, it's called Dust Dan Ball, and the whole premise of the game is that there's actually no premise of the game, and you just do whatever you want. So, it's a physics-based game, so essentially, it's just you, and if you can have a second player if you want to, or not, and you just do whatever you want. So, there's powder, water, fire, seed, gunpowder, you get it, like, you see all the things, there's fan, ice, and the idea is that everything here interacts like it would in the real world. And you can just do whatever you want. And if you ever get tired of it, you just reset. So one of my favorite things to do was to get some powder. And powder basically works just like dirt. Just imagine that powder is just dirt or like dust or something. Because it does the same thing in game. And you put a seed on top. No, seed on top and it grows like plants. And then you get a little bit of water. You could even like make rain if you wanted to. You can get like rain clouds. Like look at that. Look at that. It makes like plants. I don't know why, but that's so cool to me. Don't judge me. And you can actually get players to join. So that's me right now. And you can just you just do whatever you want. You can like shoot your water everywhere. One of my favorite things to do was to like get a player and then put like fire on them then they can shoot fire so they could get like seed and powder to make plants and then you put some water on top and you can burn it you can burn everything you could even burn yourself which was not smart but when we'll Noah it will start again but just like um, I think a big theme in a lot of the games I played was you could make your own levels which made it so much more fun because you could play other people's levels if you wanted to and people would get really creative like my favorites were always like when people would build houses in these games so let me see if I can find them these are the crappy ones I'm looking for the good ones oh save data you go to save data to find them okay so what you do to find like the cool ones is you type in like house like my favorite was just to find the mansions you go to all because that shows all time creations and people would get like super elaborate and do really awesome like houses and mansions and stuff. I hope they didn't delete them. But let's see. Dude, people would also do like really awesome mazes and stuff, which it was always super fun. Look how old this website looks. They have not updated this since forever. This is it. This is one of my favorite ones, I think. I think that's it. I hope that's it. Okay, here it is. So it's basically like just a little beach house. I think that's the whole thing. And you have a little boat and you can like have a second player here, which which was fun because like my siblings and I shared a computer because we were kids and that's what you do. So. Not nowadays, but back then when it wasn't common to like go to class with a laptop and stuff, you shared. You could go in the water. This is kind of boring, so I'll just show you guys some of the mazes. This is just like something that personally I find fun, but not everyone else would. So let's go to the mazes. So you just search up maze and all time, display. I'm trying to find a fun one that we can do because a lot of these that's the thing about like user generated content there's a lot of really crappy stuff but there's also a lot of really fun stuff so you have to just find the good stuff and the bad stuff okay I can't find the good ones I think they deleted all the ones I used to play because I'm only getting like really crappy ones so let me just pick one to show you guys what they were like I guess we're not going to get the full experience today but that's for another time, maybe. I don't know. So you like jump on, or like you get the There it is. There we're moving. Now we're moving. But it's still not doing anything. This was a crappy game. Okay. You know, it's fun. It's fun. That's all we're here to do is to have fun. And here we are with the ads. Okay, we're starting. 
hitting play. How do you even play this hitting? Nothing. You just jump and move, right? Yup, I got it. You just jump and move. This reminds me of being in school and like pretending to work and doing absolutely nothing. Just like sitting there playing games the whole time and going home. Those were the best days when they had like computer days and you just like sit and play video games all day with all your friends. Is it just me or did I remember this being a lot faster than it is? Like these were quick. Maybe it gets faster as the levels go up, so I just started and I need to chill. Jump. Oh no, I, I don't wanna die this early. That would be embarrassing. Like level three and the fact that it's a children's game makes it worse for your ego because it's like you should be able to pass it based on who they made the game for and like the demographics and everything but because you're just so dumb you can't do it i remember specifically trying to code this game and like thinking i'd be like a billionaire because i it, i put on the app store and i'd make a whole bunch of money but then i gave up on that dream when i realized i'm not good at math and you need to be good at math to be good at coding that's when i decided art with python <laughs> just kidding um no no how did I do that twice in a row? Wait, how many lives do I get? I thought when you died, you just started over. Or is that the old version? Maybe I'm just old. Again? Like, no, seriously, how many lives do you get from this game? I'm, I just, somebody please tell me. Honestly, the most excited thing I'm, the thing I'm most excited for in this video is making the thumbnail because I want to go crazy and give like, 2000s vibes all the way with the old computer like if you see it you're probably gonna think it's cool okay this is getting harder but why do i keep reviving like i thought the point of the game was like when you die you, that's it and that's what made it like such a high stakes game because it's like you could play for three hours straight and get to a super difficult level but then the second you die you have to start over this is why kids are soft nowadays because they don't remember having to like have a full-on mental breakdown when you got to like level 80 and you had to restart. Honestly, it was fun to relive my childhood and play all those games. But now I'm realizing that like, they they were fun at the time and they're still kind of fun, but there's just so many more options for entertainment that I wouldn't, like they wouldn't be my first choice ever. But I guess they serve their purpose and it's time we let them go. But if you guys want to check those out, I link them all below because they're fun and like, you probably have nothing else to do. So feel free to check that out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.